Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve one more problem based on redeemable debentures, where we need to find out the cost of debentures. A company issues 5 lakh 10% deb redeemable debentures at a discount of 5%. The costs of flotation amount to rupees 1 lakh 50,000. The debentures are redeemable after 5 years at par. The tax rate is 50%. Calculate KD. So first we want redeemable value. Means what is the value paid to debentures holders after 5 years. So they have told it is at par. So what is the par value? The par value is 5 lakh rupees. So our redeemable value becomes 5 lakh. Now net proceeds. So here if you observe, we are issuing at a discount of 5%. So 5 lakh minus 5% and again there is a flotation cost of 1 lakh 50 that is an expense that also has to be subtracted. So 5 lakh minus 5% and minus 5, 1 lakh 50,000 if you do you get the net proceeds that is 3 lakh 25,000. Now we need to find out the interest. You always you by this time you should be knowing that interest will be always calculated on the actual value. The actual value of debentures is 5 lakh. Interest rate is 10%. You get the interest that is 50,000. Tax they have told that it is 50%. So convert it into decimals. It becomes 0 0.5. And for how many years the debentures are issued? It is issued for 5 years. So number of years will become 5. Take a screenshot of this table. Because all this value we have to put it in our formula. Now this is our formula. Let us try to implement the values for this formula. So I is 50,000. Tax is 0 0.5. RV is 5 lakh. And NP is 3 lakh 25,000. That is net proceeds. Now try to simplify the formula. So 1 minus 0 0.5 will be 0 0.5. And 1 divided by 5 will be 0 0.2. 5 lakh minus 3 lakh uh, to 25,000 will be 1 lakh 75,000. Half is nothing but 0 0.5. And 5 lakh plus 3 lakh 25,000 will be 8 lakh 25,000. When you further simplify the formula, 50,000 into 0 0.5 will be 25,000. 0 0.2 into 1 lakh 75,000 will be 35,000. And 0 0.5 into 8 lakh 25,000 will be 4 lakh 12,500. Next, again, when you further simplify this formula, 25,000 plus 35,000 will be 60,000, and 4 lakh 12,500 I'll write as it is. 60,000 divided by 4 lakh 12,500 will be 0 0.145 into 100. When you multiply it, you will get the cost of debentures that is 14.5 percentage. This is how you need to solve this problem. Hope you have understood how to solve this problem. If you have any doubt, you can post your doubts in the comment box so that I'll respond to your doubts as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the video. I'll come back with the next video.